Okay guys, this is going to be my review of the Final Rise Upland Vest. Um, I did the video and I forgot to mention at the end um, with the difference of the Legacy and the Summit. Uh, one thing I, th I don't know if the Legacy comes with the water bottle holders, so keep that in mind. But uh, the other thing I want to say about this company is customer service is great. Okay. Um, the guy Matt Davis personally answered all my emails and I emailed him like five or six times before I even buy anything within a day Maybe two days tops. He was emailing me back with an answer to all my questions. So contact him if you got any questions about uh, you know what the Legacy versus the summit comes with because it's kind of hard to navigate on the website. So um, but anyways, I hope you enjoy this video of my review and uh, there's more to come soon. All right. Thanks Hey guys, Brian with High Desert Gun Dogs back for a full review of the Final Rise Upland Vest Now I bought this in uh, last August a couple months for a season and shortly after that they redesigned a new vest which is called the Legacy, it's a more affordable option. So this is considered the Summit. Um, and the other one, I don't have to do a review on, so I'm only gonna review on this one. But first off, what I can say about this is it's very well built, uh, very durable. Um, he's using mostly 500 Cordura, and these patches are 1,000. Anywhere there's going to be high wear item, uh, high wear, like the shell pouches, um, that's all 1,000. Uh, everything else is 500 Cordura, which in my opinion uh, makes for a nice lightweight bag, and it's also flexible. One thing you don't want is a bag that's real stiff, in my opinion. Um, comes with these nice water bottle holders that they come in and out very easily almost effortless uh, some bags you'll find they're tough to get these out and uh, it's just a nice feature they're you know stitched all the way around reinforced um, it's got this pals webbing here that you can um, they've got all kinds of uh, pouches and, and zippered pockets that you can attach to here if you want um, it's, so it's very modular. So basically I've used this on um, five trips so far and it's probably logged almost 20 miles. Uh, had a few birds in the bag. We haven't gotten any limits or so can't comment on that. It's been pretty tough in SoCal. Um, the one thing I like about this design is a lot of bags will have the pouch here on the end and that adds weight to the back and it'll make your bag sag and you'll get uh, a lot of weight on your shoulders which was one of the complaints with my other one the hip belts would slip down and then you'd have all that weight and your shoulders would be like oh you know I'm, I'm sore you know after a few miles this one doesn't do that it stays in place and I'm gonna show you why in a minute but let me go over this uh, zippered uh, pockets that he's got so inside the bag, on the side, this is the side of the bag here. So inside the bag, there's a zipper area there. And I keep a thing of vet wrap in there. Uh, that's all I got in there right now. On the other side, there's the same thing. Same exact thing on the other side. I don't know how well I'm showing this. If you look there, you unzip that and I keep some emergency stuff, some uh, tin foil blankets, uh, matches, a couple whistles, and some cordage there. Uh, but those are that's kind of stuff you might only need in an emergency. And then up here is your main zipper area, right there where I keep the first aid kit. And uh, I've got some pliers in there, and I carry a comb for getting cactus out of your dog's fur. 
but it's it's pretty roomy in there. I mean, you can. I mean, that that's a pretty good sized first aid kit I'm fitting in there, and it zips up. It's not. It's it's pretty full with that though. Um, I use a water bladder. I've got a 70 ounce in here, um, and then we've also got the water for the dogs. So that's uh, I think a total of 130 ounces. You know, 70 for me and the rest for the for a dog there. Uh, comes with these when you buy it. You don't have to buy those extra. It does not come with a water bladder though. I added that. Just keep in mind uh, if you do that, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna have to buy the water bladder. Um, for a while there, a couple of trips, I was just stuffing water bottles in that pocket. Keeps it up close to your back. It's not jiggling around in the bag there. So, and it's got this little clip, you clip your, um, your bladder to there. So, right here, that's what holds it up, that, that clip, and then it fits in that pocket. He's got three little pockets here. Okay, one's for the bladder, one right here. Thanks to that snacks from the last one. One here in the in the where your back goes, I keep a pair of gloves. And then the other side I keep a uh, same pocket, I keep a little cooling towel to cool off my dog's ears. They get hot out there. Um, and that's the main game bag there. You've got this uh, kind of lashing here, it's kind of like a bungee. And then you can um, adjust the tension on it. I guess you could put a jacket in there. I typically don't wear a jacket. It's pretty warm where I'm at, but that's something you could use it for, I guess. Um, moving on to the shell pockets. Okay, these are pretty nice. You've got, it's got the zippered area here, the main pouch, the main pocket. And you've got a lot of room for, I mean, you could keep a whole box of shells in each one if you wanted. I don't. I generally split them up. But there's plenty of room in there. And then he's got, so you don't have to zip them up all the time. You just fold it down, take your shells out, load your gun, and then Velcro it. They're not going to come out in the field. But that'll keep all the twigs and leaves and uh, all that from getting into your shells. And when you get back to the truck, you know you're gonna you're gonna move somewhere else or go home you know zip it back up and then just throw it in the back of the truck that way they don't dump out there's another this is cool it's got another little area here where you can keep probably a cell phone I keep another comb in there I don't know why I have to and my electronic uh, ears and the other one's the same thing I keep my hunting license in there same uh, design on the other side of the belt. Um, the shoulder straps are paper thin. They're very nice. You can get a, gun, a good gun mount on them. They don't impede your mount. Uh, the other thing I like is it's got this like uh, textured rubber on it. So what's nice about that is you know, you run your hip belt pretty tight so it doesn't move around, and then you can keep these kind of loose so you're not restricted when you're mounting your shotgun. You know, you're not feeling like you're pulling on a strap. So you run these loose and they stay in place, they don't move around. Um, then you've got your sternum strap here. So let me just put this on real quick and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, it's lightweight now, there's no water in it. I weighed this thing and it was 15 pounds with all the water so and you really don't feel it I mean you feel it but it's not unbearable so you get your hip, hip belt it's already adjusted for me I like to wear it high and then I like to leave these loose see how loose those are but they don't really move around because of that grip so when you mount your gun you're not impeded by the strap so that's what I was talking about there. Um, the other thing, it's got all these hooks here. I use one for my uh, 
for my uh, dog uh, remote GPS and this is a little bowl for just watering the dogs um, the other thing I gotta mention this is probably the best thing about this vest see this hip belt here okay look at the inside of that that's a I mean that's got to be five inch belt there maybe six but you've got this like lumbar support it's a it's a pad it's a good not compressed it's probably an inch and it compresses down to about a half inch but it's also got that non-slip grip it stays in place right in the small of your back it never moves so this thing once you get it adjusted even with 16 pounds in there it's not moving you know breathable mesh here you get a lot of airflow here my back doesn't get sweaty on hunts too bad at least um, but that's the main thing this no slip grip whatever it is I don't know it's magic stuff is awesome um, the other thing that you like I said you can do is he's got all kinds of little pockets you can mount into this pals webbing here um, you could take the water bottles off if you don't want to use them they just unclip real easy you know two minutes and you can get them off no big deal he's got another one you can put on the back a bigger one kind of similar to like Wingworks except it's totally deta detachable you can take it on and off depending on what kind of hunt you're doing um, that's the good stuff about this bag um, I think I've covered everything that I wanted to cover the cons the only con is ex it's expensive you're gonna pay $300 for this vest and that's with no add-ons you know um, the, the add-ons I've seen are like the big ones like 40 bucks I think the smaller ones are like 25 um, but this thing should last you numerous years I don't see any wear on it like I said I've only had it five times out but I don't see it wearing um, myself it's just the right amount of heavy-duty construction but still maintain flexibility and then not being overly heavy so that's something that's very important uh, the one thing I did add on is this kind of little cell phone holder I like to keep my cell phone uh, I would use these pockets but then I to me I don't like carrying anything else with my cell phone it gets scratched up so I kind of dedicated that to its own uh, holster there um, you can add on uh, pistol holsters if you carry um, but there's all kinds of options but I tend to like to keep it just like he has a setup you know there's something to say you know one of the things he's mentioned Matt Matt Davis he's the maker of this when you add weight to the back of the bag that's what's gonna get it to sag you know if you keep everything towards your back and high up that's how it's gonna stay in place so to me that's what I want to do I don't need to carry anything else really uh, than what I got um, and they make them in the, you know all kinds of colors there's a, a tan one there's the green like this ranger green with the orange it's really sharp looking but one thing I don't like about orange is it fades in the Sun um, but if you go with this like I did with these natural earth tones if you get to a state where you need to hunt with orange they sell an attachment piece that covers this it's a triangle and it's all orange and you can put that on there as a temporary fix to meet a, a requirement in another state so that's why I went with this um, I don't like orange because it fades and it, it looks horrible to me but uh, yeah buy it man if you hunt a lot it's worth the money um, I had another vest before this and it was a great vest but it the reason I got rid of it was because it was it would always cut my neck the shoulder straps it would always be hugged or it was would never stay in place so um, I got this one I'm very happy with it uh, really happy with it <clears throat> so check them out they're made in the US the guy sells them in his kitchen table in Utah there 
and uh, really good quality stuff. I'm happy with it. I'd buy it again, and I'll probably buy one of the. Um, he's got some um, uh, GPS holsters. I'll probably buy one of those. I don't think I'll buy the pouches because I don't need to carry anything else. So, um, but all in all, it works for me, and uh, there's quite a few other people that are very happy with this too. So. Um, and like I said, he's got the, the legacy. If you don't want to spend the 300 bucks on this one, there's the legacy. I think it's $230. And uh, yeah, $230 for the legacy. Uh, you don't, from what I can see, you don't get this uh, lashing here. Um, you get the, the pocket, this big pocket, but you don't get the side ones. Other than that, I think it's all the same. So, for 70 bucks, you know, do you want those side pockets and the lashing? You know, I do. For me, it was worth it, but for you, it might not be. But that's another option. Same vest, same lumbar support, same shoulder straps, everything's the same on it. So, check them out, final rise. And um, I thank you for watching. All right.